Now they can they can cause an allergic response because they have little hairs on their wings. Um, that's where they're the order is called Trichoptera, which means hair wing. So the little hairs can come out. So how many would you guess are like around here? Oh man, I, I think just in this park alone, there's got to be millions of them. Like they, right now, they're resting on all these limbs. Oops! Shake this tree. They're I just maybe you can see them good over there. They seem to be more attracted to me than you. Yeah, maybe, and that—that's what I, they'll be attracted to. Do, color, different colors over others. Um, so I'm gonna count how many are on this trap here. Let's get out of them. Ugh. I'll bring you down further where there's some little palms by the river, and you can actually look underneath the, the limbs and just see thousands of them hanging out there. Let's get on this bench. This will take me a second. There's some, there's some people down there, just one family. Okay, maybe we'll go talk to them after this. Yeah, it just... Heck, I thought it'd be better right here, but it's not. <laughs> they're all... Oh man, they're like even worse right here. It wasn't quite 24 hours today, so it was a little less than last time, but, you know, so zero at Davis Dam, 15, 17 in our trap at Community Park, 100 here, same pattern I consistently get, so, I mean, even visually you can tell, obviously, there's something going on down in this part of the river. Hmm. Um, there's also, if you go out into the water, you can see little bits of algae floating around, so I, I think there's a relationship there. So, finding out what is causing that algae to grow and, and what's feeding these things will be a big part of this program.